My name is Lisa Richards and I'm a Deputy Superintendent Registrar um, uh, of uh, Marriages. Alongside me today is Kim, who's a Registrar, who will be making a very special record of this event in the Marriage Register. On behalf of Greg and Anne, I would like to welcome you all here to the Crown Plaza today to share with them in their wedding ceremony. Through their vows, they are making a commitment to each other for the rest of their lives. And through their presence, through, through your presence, you are expressing your support for them. I'm sure it means a great deal to them that you can be here to share in their happiness. Now, before we commence the ceremony, I must just confirm your full names. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are Gregory Russell Dobson. I am. And you are Anne Margaret Murphy. I am. The place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are all here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Gregory Russell Dobson with Anne Margaret Murphy. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. That one doesn't count. <laughs> will form a milestone in your life together that you will look back on with love and happiness. Marriage joins two people who trust the love they have found. It is a partnership in which each other can grow and be true to themselves while sharing in the development of the other. It is a statement to all those around them of the love, friendship and support they share for the rest of their lives. Before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and the binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage according to the law of this country is the union of two people who love each other, voluntarily entered into to the exclusion of all others. I'm going to ask you both in turn to declare there's no legal impediment. So Greg, if you can repeat after me, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Gregory Russell Dobson. Why I, Gregory Russell Dobson. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Anne Margaret Murphy. To Anne Margaret Murphy. Perfect, that was lovely, thank you. And now your turn, Anne. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I am Margaret Murphy. Why I am Margaret Murphy. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Gregory Russell Dobson. To Gregory Russell Dobson. Perfect. The moment has now come for Greg and Anne to make the marriage contract before you, their witnesses and guests. <coughs> The words are a formal and a public pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong dedication to each other. I have some more words for you now, Greg. Okay. I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Gregory Dobson... That I, to witness that I, Gregory Dobson... Do take thee, Anne Murphy... To take thee, Anne Murphy... To be my lawful wedded wife... To be my lawful... When it's like. I look forward to sharing my life with you. I look forward to sharing my life with you. And as we journey through life together. And as we journey through life together. I promise to cherish love and care for you always. <coughs> cherish love and care for you always. Perfect. That was brilliant. Perfect. That was your turn. Okay. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I am Murphy. To witness that I am Murphy. Do you take the Gregory Dobson. Do you take the Gregory Dobson. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I look forward to sharing my life with you. I look forward to sharing my life with you. Yeah. As we journey through life together. And as we journey through life together. I promise to cherish love and to care for you always. I promise to cherish love and care for you always. Perfect. We now come to the exchange of rings. 
which is the traditional way of sealing the vows that you've just made. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle um, symbolizing unending and everlasting love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you're making to each other. Um, Johnny, I think, would, can you step forward with Anne's ring, please? <coughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnny. Uh, hold on. <laughs> take that back with you. Okay. You can take Anne's ring and pop it on her ring finger and hold it on in place. And if you can repeat after me, Greg, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Now, I think Matt has Greg's ring. You can step forward, please, Matt, and uh, yeah, Anne have Greg's ring. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Pop it um, up to the knuckle. Yes, that's great. And hold it on. Okay, if you can repeat after me, Anne, please. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Perfect. Push the ring right on there. <laughs> what does it fit? Okay. We hope these rings will be a constant reminder to you both of the promises that you've made here today. You've both made declarations prescribed by law. You've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, your friends and your witnesses assembled here today. This day is the start of a new life for you together. It is my privilege and indeed my pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife and you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> So this is the official bit. So this will take a little bit of time. And so if you can all please bear with us and you can talk amongst yourselves. And it's a good one to 
Yeah, man. 